link it to the guide. Yeah. Comment down below any suggestions. Yeah. Good job. We have to like edit like the whole like arrows and stuff. See, now that's too much. Gotta make it look nice. Really. Oh, maybe I'll have, yeah, like click the button here, but then have it like up here. It would be like, that's just bad work. It's not even fun. Pick one of the quotes below and explain what it means. Uh, do you agree or disagree? Is anyone unclear on what the second one is saying? What's it saying? Can you provide a reason to own one that doesn't also prove that you are a douchebag? So you, your job, really, if you are in disagreement with it, is to find a reason that doesn't also prove this. All right, what do you think? Who wrote on the first one? Who wrote on the second one? Ooh, bold. OK, so um, wait, do I sit down? Throw a cooler sitting down. <laughs> um, yeah, what do, what do you guys got? What do you think? Whichever one you want to. What about that first one? Where do you think that's from? Has anyone ever heard that? Maybe on a bumper sticker or something? In a book. In a book? What book was that? Somewhere in a book. I saw it on a bumper sticker, I think, in the 90s. Um, what do you think? What does it mean? What are what does it mean by toys? Let's start there. I thought materialism. Yeah, material things, right? It's not like it's not about that kid in school who like had all the Power Ranger toys, including the <laughs> Zords. Okay, so not those kinds of toys, right? What, so you're saying material stuff? Yeah, what kinds of material things would you say? Other than Power Rangers. Rolex. Yeah. Okay. How how do those play out? Like like why would you have those things, or what do they do for you? Like wh what's this winning thing that uh, you know? Charlie Sheen. Did he was he the one? Right before he figured out he had uh, HIV and gave like you know thousands of women AIDS probably. Um, winning though, right? Yeah. I don't know what game you're playing there, but I feel like Hitler would play that game with you. Um, and Easy e What's up? It's kind of like something I said to you. I was like, this quote, I said I didn't agree with it because it kind of has like no intrinsic meaning. Like, it has no deeper meaning. Because it's like, when what? Like, when a life, when a happiness? Well, like, I said that if like, you want a happiness, it's not necessarily like, the right thing because, I mean, mm. someone with all the money in the world can have all the things, and yet they still, like, come from depression and, like, so sad. Yeah, winning is probably related to happiness in a way, like uh, especially, I mean, what would you think winning in life would be? Depending on how you interpret it, yeah, are you connecting this with things equal happiness? Or having more things? More than who? <laughs> Most toys, yeah, more than, yeah, exactly. Who do you have to compete with now? Yeah, your classmates, your neighbors? every single person on the internet because we have the internet now, <laughs> right? Anyone on reality TV? Does anyone uh, hate watch TV shows? Did we talk about this yet? When you're watching these shows, you're always kind of comparing yourself to them, aren't you? A little bit, maybe not them, maybe you, what are you watching and comparing? Or you, you at least have some standard in your mind that you're not really thinking about of like, what makes this person awesome or what makes them suck. Cringeworthy. So, so there's a comparison going on here. In the text, what does this remind us of? What's a treadmill? So I'm asking you another question before you answer the other question. Uh, what is the treadmill of consumption? What's that? Yeah, this metaphor of on a treadmill, are you? Yeah, you're you're moving and you're doing stuff, but you're not going anywhere. Yeah, um, so if, if we're referring to like, like succeeding or, or getting somewhere in life, it seems like that's 
not the way to do it. Mm -hmm. uh, in the part where it says that the less fortunate are just as happy as the rich people. Yeah. So, like, sort of to, to combat that, right? Yeah, there's no evidence showing that people that have more things are happier. There's this other line at the, at the bottom of 126, and it says a media mogul Ted Turner put it this way, life is a game, money is how we keep score. That's almost like the exact same thing as this, right? Yeah, what else was significant in this reading that you might have underlined? What? Hierarchy of needs, Maslow's hierarchy, another pyramid, right? Yeah, okay. Um, this really comes down to then that other. So we've got the treadmill of consumption, and then we've got this other concept, needs and wants. And so then we have to really define the difference between wants and needs. So the needs, what are our needs? Yeah, do you like how they said drink? They're like drank or something like. Drink. Yeah. Like whoa, hold on. Did did Fergie or uh, Kendrick? He did that one. I'm like quoting Fergie. No, that was the first person that I think I heard who was like just randomly saying that in a song. That one that they used to play at weddings like five years ago. Tonight's gonna be a good night. Anyway, Black Eyed Peas. It's dumb. Um, they're not dumb. I didn't say that. <laughs> um, silly? Can I say silly? Whatever. Where's the love? Damn. All right. Um, so we've got this, uh, the biological and physical needs, right? Yeah. Um, so we have air, food, drink. Apparently they're like, not water, soda. Why, why would you need soda? Yeah. Uh, air, food, water, shelter, warmth sex, and sleep. By the way, don't use that. Trying to get laid, be like, oh, well, well, actually, um, <laughs> you know, in Maslow's hierarchy of needs, it kind of says that I need this. So your response can always be like, well, you can go somewhere else then, buddy. Um, go kick rocks. Or, or whatever you want to do. But um, honestly, like, it's kind of a lame argument. The, sur the whole survival thing, though, maybe that's what it's referring to, reproduction. That's kind of one of the, the needs, which is interesting. It's at least part of our drives. We can admit that, right? We have a, ne a hunger drive, thirst, even breathing. So, so one thing that comes up in this reading, though, is the idea that uh, all our needs are met. Did anyone catch that? What do you think? Do you agree or disagree? Like in America, are all our needs met? Not for everyone. Not for everyone? Like who? Who would you be referring to? Homeless people. The homeless people. There we go. All right. So homeless people. They, um, there's many reasons why you might be homeless. Are there things set up where a homeless person could acquire all of these things? How abundant are these things, even for homeless people? Um, we've got air. Okay, I know our, our air quality here is pretty crappy. Anyone like our sunsets? Or We have an inversion layer uh, where the temperature changes. Did you learn this already? The inversion layer so that uh, the smog, instead of rising, continuously rising, it uh, gets trapped by that in the mountains. So we're stuck with this beautiful weather. Um, so. You can still breathe it, though, all right? And, and you're breathing the same air that the homeless people are breathing, unless you've got some crazy, like, you know, filtration system in your house and you never leave home. So we've got, they've got air. What about food and water? Not as common. It's not as common, but would you say that homeless, even homeless people somehow have access to that? So like food, maybe there's shelters, maybe there's programs where they can get aid from the government, it's difficult, it's annoying, right? But, but there are some ways, social security and stuff like that. Um, I used to feed the, the homeless on, on, in San Diego, like uh, weekly, and oftentimes they'd be talking about like waiting for their checks and stuff like that, but not everyone's in the system. It's only in Fullerton where I saw someone like with a sign, but they had a cell phone behind the sign. 
Well, do you need a cell phone? No. So, we'll see. Um, sometimes, right, it even said sometimes we put wants over our needs. Like when you're playing video games for like 18 hours straight and your mom didn't bring you that sandwich or your Mountain Dew and you pass out from dehydration. <laughs> and then some people go, it, yeah, it, it happens actually. You're like, I know it happens. Happened to my friend one time. Um, <laughs> urban legends. Are, no, they're not urban legends. It's like actually happening more and more. Um, okay, what about this? So, water. Can a homeless person get water? Yeah, like they don't even have to talk to another human to get water here. They just go to a drinking fountain or something. It's, it's really annoying. But if you prepare, you can, you know, like have water jugs, something like that. You can somehow get water um, legally, like not like rolling up to someone's hose, spigot near their house. Because um, this is where I'm going with that. We have, we've got clean water, right? Like everywhere except for like lines that say non-potable water and it's reclaimed water. Yeah, gray water. Yeah, gray water. For the most part, all our water's clean, yeah? Um, is it like that in anywhere else in the world? So my wife's family is from Pakistan and she went there to hang out with them in Karachi. It's the biggest city in Pakistan um, and she, like, one of the first nights, she just put her toothbrush in her mouth. Like, she, ran, she just ran it under the water and put it in her mouth and then realized what she'd done and then, like, spit it out. And then she still got sick. So sick, she had to go to the hospital. and was, like, in bed for, like, three or four days. Um, it's like that in Mexico, right? Uh, anyone drink the water there but, like, not have a ton of alcohol in your system to kill all the bugs? Yeah, it's like, it's bad, uh, depending on the place, right? But in, so, this is the thing, though. That was out of the tap, even, in the, in the biggest city in Pakistan, which is supposed to, I mean, they're, they're supposed to be a little bit further along than a lot of places. But there's other places where you don't even have ir irrigation and, and water going into your house, right? A lot of places in the world that are more rural, they have to do what? Wells. Wells? Are there, is the well like right outside their house? No. 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 Yeah, typically there might be one per town or maybe there's not. Maybe they gotta go like five miles. And do you know how much water weighs? A lot. Like, it's like eight pounds per gallon. How many gallons of water do you think you need in a day? So we're not just talking about drinking, right? We're talking about bathing, washing your hands, cooking your food. Think about that, right? And then you're going to have to drink more water because you just walked that whole distance to get the water. And you're carrying, like, a lot of freaking water. Now, that's not everywhere, but there's a lot of places in the world like that. Can you... So going back to us, we have... Uh, what do we have? We have water going into our house, and that water is clean, right? You could drink out of your tap, you drink out of your shower even, right? Yeah. Could you, huh? Yeah, it's clean. Yeah, could you drink out of your toilet? Maybe out of the top part? <laughs> you could, but why would you? Yeah. Right, okay, so it's clean water though, yeah? So, what I'm trying to get at here is, do you shit in clean water? Oh, yes. <laughs> what if, what if someone from one of those rural areas in another country came and just stayed with you for like a, a week or something like that, and they saw your toilet and realized that you shit in clean water? and comparing that to their living arrangements and their circumstances. Some people, like, that's their job. Like, in their family, their one job is to get water every day. And everyone else in their family is like, like, you have the crappiest job, like, trucking water back home. And then we just, like, take a dump in it. 
And have you ever even thought about doing that? That, it, that you're pooping in clean water? Have you ever thought of it, that, you're, that you do that? You've never even had to think about doing that. You just take it, we all take it for granted, right? That, I would say, is how far our needs are met in America. Now, there are a couple variables. There are people who, like, they slip through this, the cracks and stuff like that. But for the most part, if we truly needed it, like, people can survive on the streets. They can for, like, years. Like, I've, I've met people and talked to them, and they're like, yeah, I've been living on the streets for 20 years. I'm happy. And, you know, that's, that's up to each one's interpretation. But who am I to say that they're not happy there? Also, I'm not trying to say that you should be homeless either. Um, I'm also saying not to look down on people. They're not necessarily all drug addicts or crazy. Maybe they're just, uh, what would you call that? Urban campers? Okay, anything else here? What else was significant? Where do you want to, do you want to address this? This is part of it. Let's go here first. 